Hey everybody, Jay Allen here. Welcome back to Jay Allen Guitar. This next guitar review is just a tease. Stick around. So I was watching a live presentation on the Average Joe's Gear Talk channel. Uh, Joe is a great uh, content creator and uh, he's a super fun guy. So if you haven't checked his uh, channel out, please do so. And I was approached by the owner of the Tees uh, guitar company. His name is Torsten. And uh, he asked if I wanted to review one of his guitars. So I said, sure. So he sent it on over and uh, this is it. So let's check it out. So this will sort of be an unboxing. I kind of unboxed it already just to take a look at it. But anyway, this is it. It uh, comes in a, you know, your standard wedge box. Now let me tell you a little bit about this company Tees. Uh, these guitars are manufactured in China. Uh, the owner of the company works with the Chinese manufacturer to kind of spec out what he wants uh, on, in the guitar, uh, how he wants it manufactured. Uh, they're shipped over here to the United States. Uh, the company is based in the US, a uh, US owned company. And uh, then they do a complete setup on it and then they ship it to the customer. So these are probably warehoused here in the United States somewhere when you buy one. They pull it off the shelf and uh, ship it out to you. So again, as I always caution, if you live somewhere where there's porch pirates, make sure you have somebody sign for your guitar because nothing screams a guitar is in this box like the wedge-shaped box. So it's uh, packaged pretty nice. Uh, it's got your some bubble wrap in there and some foam bracing and everything. So there it is. That's uh, just a plain old thin gig bag it's nothing fancy but it's will definitely protect your guitar enough to get it to a gig all right so this is the st s is in sam t1 so this is sort of their basic stratocaster style guitar in the seafoam green i love this color um so yeah let's talk about it first of all let me pull up the website real quick and we'll see what they say about it. This retails for $139.95. Uh, not, not a bad price. Uh, free shipping to the United States. Uh, shipping to Canada is a little bit more. So they say it's set up. Set up the action. They set up everything. Um, the single coils, these are uh, non El Nico. These are just ceramic coils. Uh, Five-way switch. Basswood body we'll talk more about that in a minute uh chrome plated hardware gig bag uh you get the tremolo and the allen wrenches and all that stuff standard so let me talk a little bit about some of the things that make it an inexpensive guitar the neck is unfinished maybe that's not an issue it's a very nice piece this is a maple neck by the way um, just your standard stamped logo on the front uh these are bone nuts so that's cool just chrome hardware seems like decent enough hardware we'll tune it up in a minute couple string trees up there uh, adjustable neck from from the front uh, black fret dots these are cool frets are i think they're nickel on this one but he said they were switching over to stainless much to his dismay because <laughs> he doesn't like working on stainless frets because they're really hard to work on uh, heel plate with the plastic gasket which i don't understand but anyway <laughs> i have a pet peeve about that black plastic gasket i just i don't understand why it's there it doesn't need to be there it's it's like <laughs> i don't get it i don't know why it bothers me either um tremolo tremolo sorry people were criticizing me for saying it wrong i've always said tremolo <laughs> uh maybe it's my midwestern accent i don't know but it's tremolo so there's your tremolo for all you grammar police out there uh like i said five-way switch plastic knobs three-way uh three ply pick guard uh the smaller trim block um uh, is this 22 i think it's 22 frets oh fret edges are nice they're not sharp at all so but they're not they're not the rolled ones you know like the ball ends like are popular now but they're they're nice and uh these are the cast saddles uh, just the standard old timey uh, strap buttons nothing fancy there paint job is immaculate this is really sweet 
nice gloss, smooth gloss finish. You can't see any of the ripples of the grain in there. And okay, so uh, we're gonna tune this thing up and uh, see how it sounds. Sounds pretty good even uh, before you plug it in. All right, so I'm running through a Reaper session. Uh, I'm using the Morgan Amps Suite from Neural Amps. Uh, this is a pretty nice amp modeling program if you're into that sort of thing. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, the action on it is really nice. The strings on it uh, feel pretty good. I don't, I'm not sure what brand they are. Pickups on it sound really nice. Might be out of tune again. Okay, so let's run through the pickups. Uh, this is on the bridge pickup. Uh, bridge and middle. Middle pickup. Uh, middle and uh, neck pickup. And neck pickup. So yeah, this uh, sounds pretty good. The pickups seem low in tone to me. They're not as bright and thin as the uh, um, the Squire debut that I just did uh, the review on. Um, let's check it out with some distortion. All right. One thing I'm interested in is intonation. They say they set this up uh, before they ship them out, so the low E and the A are a little off, so. So yeah, it uh, sounds pretty good. Um, okay, so there you have it. That's the Tease ST1 Stratocaster style guitar. This was, uh, I think it said $139.95 from their website, free shipping. So, interesting thing, I did the review uh, just a little while ago on the Squire uh, debut. And uh, one thing I want to mention about this guitar is it's a full thickness body. You're getting a uh, one in what is it? One point eight inch, one and three quarter inch 
body where this one is the 1.6 inch so it's the uh, thinner body um, the pickups in this didn't sound as good as the pickups in this I think the pickups in this sound a lot better uh, other than that it's you know they they might even make these in the same plant you never know uh, the necks are very similar uh, they're the unfinished neck on both the neck shape seems the same on them a sh uh, what do they call a shallow C cut or a narrow thin C this one's got the laurel fretboard on it uh, this one's the maple fretboard which I think looks good on the seafoam green I think they have a blue one too um, both made in China both with the um, cast saddles on it they're a little bit different looking um, I didn't try the trim the whammy do a quick test on the trim I'm not a big tremolo player I can't even say the word so maybe that's why I don't like to play with the trim with the whammy I mean it works I don't, I don't know I don't know what to do with it I don't I'm not so anyway yeah that's that that's the trim tremolo tremolo whatever you want to say okay so anyway there you have it that's uh, the T's ST1 Stratocaster style guitar like I said this was sent to me but anyway I've tried to give an honest uh, review about it it's a, it's a decent guitar this I think it's better than the uh, debut um, certainly if you're gonna mod with it because it's got the full thickness body on it and I like a gloss finish I mean the, nothing wrong with the matte finish for your dollars this is money pretty well spent uh, it's a little bit more than the debut but I don't even know if those are available anymore um, they're coming out with more models they have a strat with an El Nico set of pickups on it I think that one's going for 165 they've got some with the Floyd Rose tremolo system on it so yeah they're really well made guitars and they're trying to expand uh, the product line and so uh, check them out uh, tease guitars uh, information in the description and as always thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time